Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Crips, and in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I want to talk about the first descendant. I know it's not a game that everyone's going to enjoy because of the whole loot grinding your entire life away. You get minimal upgrades and very little rewards. And I know not everybody likes Nexon's business practices. Trust me when I say this, I am with you on that one because I don't have either. Just know if you buy Ultimate Bunny for $100 or £80, you, yes, you sing right there, you are part of the problem. But let's be honest, they know those gamers are thirsty. All right, back on topic. So I have played for roughly about 130 hours and I have a few things I want to talk about. Monetization being one of them. At this I am not going to step too far into it. I don't need to. People have said it already. People have spoke about it on all sorts of different channels. It is scummy. It's, I don't agree with most of the stuff that they've put into, into the shop. The pricing of all things I don't agree with. And I know a lot of companies hide the game behind a free to play model and say, look, it's free to play. We're trying to get our money somehow. So we're going to rack up prices. You know, all that. They do it too often in, in free to play spaces i am going to say though some of the monetization is represented from other games so such as warframe warframe has a lot of the similar stuff they have boosters in there too i'm not 100 percent sure on actual end game like upgrade modules and stuff like that i'm not too sure about that i'm going to check right now actually so we're going to check that out to see if they actually have it i do come from warframe i have played warframe quite a bunch one of my f favorite free to play games is warframe and i've played a lot of it i play it on consoles and i have played it on PC. I think on PC I got 270 hours. That's something close to that. Um yes, they do have a lot of monetization in this game. And like I said, I don't want to go too far into it. Mm -hmm. It's just how it is. You, you love it or you hate it. It's just how it is, okay? The one thing that I do want to say, though, that is actually quite good is that the battle pass is, is reasonably priced. I think it's relatively the same as most other games. The only problem is I'm all, I've almost done this battle pass. I'm on tier 89. I've flown through it. I know the game's only been out two weeks, but guess what? It's The, the XP that they give you through the challenges is, is massive compared to other games. You fly through that battle pass. It is good priced. The rewards in it are not so great. One thing I would have advise next and if they're going to do that when they do the next battle passes is do not put in blue skin blue skin weapons stuff i don't see the point in blue weapon skins in there add more customization add a you could do it with adding a character in there a free character you could do it i don't know do it any other way than adding stuff that no one cares about which most of the time will be blue skin weapons because nobody will be using blue weapons common weapons i think they're common weapons i don't think anybody's going to be using common weapons at all in this game once they get past a certain point skins for blue weapons take them out don't bother with them also before i continue i want to thank everybody that subscribed in the past like month or so <laughs> thanks love you Forever. Look at that, I got 50% off platinum. All right, so we're going to check while we're here. We're going to check the um, shop in the market. So I want to just compare real quick just to see what everyone's fuss is about more than all else. So I just want to go through and have a look, see what we've got. So Warframe, so if I want to buy a Warframe. Now we're looking at 375 platinum for Ash. What are one of the newer characters? Let's have a look for the most expensive. We're looking at 375 for Warframe's maximum amount. Let's now go and have a look at platinum. We're looking at 1650 for a thousand platinum. So relatively the same price as, as First Descendant. But actually, no, it's not. The reason is I have a 50% sale on right now because i have that coupon that i just been rewarded if you look at the base price it's actually 32.99 for a thousand platinum yet a thousand caliber actually 16.49 i didn't realize that and for 370 platinum it's actually 14 pounds so I actually i don't know whether this one's worth off this is buying it through steam so let's have a look through their website see if it's any different no it's the same obviously this is through steam but you won't be able to see it unless i change it let me do display capture instead so this is on their website so highest amount of platinum 4300 costs 130 pounds for us in the uk it also costs a thousand for a thousand platinum it also costs 32 pound 33 pound in normal price for a thousand for i would have to spend if i wanted one of these warframes i would have to spend for this one 
say if I want a dash, I would have to spend 33 pounds because I can't get it through this one. Yes, you do get coupons for cheaper platinum. Yes, but I, I kind of didn't realize that, to be honest. You can't buy prime warframe, warframes. <laughs> I've been scrolling through, right? The warframes are actually more expensive in the long run then descendants so yeah it's not exactly it's not but not better in any way so it's just one of those do you know what i mean it's, it's how you put it down to the, the systems right so also have a look at one other thing before we leave is if i want to make a warframe we're looking at 72 hours that's not adding up these so people complaining about the the um people complaining about the time frame that it takes to craft these things you've got a 12 hour wait period 12 hour wait period for most of the actual chassis and the neuroptics but when you're actually crafting the the frame once you've got all them parts you're looking at 72 hours on top if you add them all together that's plus three days that's four four and a half days you're waiting whereas in first descendant you're looking at half of that time so there is benefits to uh first descendant also want to cover one other thing before we leave fuller pallets yes i got jade I, I came back and got jade when she got released i do want to say this i appreciate this more than i do nexon's color scheming because this is unlimited use and i also say right i want this classic palette i can spend 75 platinum to get a full classic palette not just one color but i get a, a, a scheme a color scheme in a way so like the shamrock scheme i get this however much that was i think that was for free last time i've won the eximus one 75 platinum and i get quite a few nice colors and it's unlimited use and I can use it across anything. And and also, I want to point out that this skin is their base skin. You, this is how she comes. Yeah, I can actually colour her in any way I want. And in, in the first descendant, she, you can't, which is also kind of kind of scummy to be fair. Which you know, they they do what they want. That's how they do it. If you buy it, that's on you. If you don't like that sort of stuff, then don't buy it. Obviously. So I think that's all I can say about monetization it's oh wait one other thing actually before we leave do we get do we buy can buy boosters exactly the same as first descendant this one costs 200 platinum i'm looking at 14 pounds for a fucking booster to last how long 30 days 14 pounds for a booster to last 30 days so one month and then i think ne i think nexon's version of this in the first descendant's worse but they both have them what about slots are in this components this one changes your mod slot which is the uh 20 platinum 20 platinum you can get a few of those for two pound on sale four pound on base price and then yeah see most of these you can buy in the shop and the stuff that you you want to grind out you can actually buy in in the shop so like it's just it's just how i don't know what to say about it to be honest that modifies an aura slot uses a war with a warframe to unlock an excellent slot uses with a compatible weapon uses, they're all in in the shop these sell them too they're not as overpriced as as first descendant one but you know we also don't get i can't do it on this one because i don't have her at level f i don't have a max but if i say i want to get frost prime i want to upgrade him but then again i've not done this for ages so actions you need an orican orican reactor to do it so i get an orican reactor how much we're looking uh components i did see them did i see it in here an orican reactor cost 20 so this is it's cheap it's not expensive it's not expensive they just do it differently they charge more for platinum but the items in the game are less but they still do it, they still have them in there. So people that are saying, Warframe, don't do it. They're lying, they're lying. They're still in there. And I just realized that most of this had no game audio, so it's doing nothing. So I'm, you know, I have to put some music over the top of this or something. Like some Inspector Gadget music or some shit. Right, that's covered. Monetization covered. Probably too long, longer than I wanted it to be on, but it's covered so yes the, the the monetization's there like that if you like if you if you want to buy stuff in it buy stuff in it if you don't don't it's, it's entirely up to you it's your money but like i said if you're buying if you're buying ultimate bundles for a hundred dollars or 80 pounds or whatever it is then you have no one to blame but yourself it's just how it is okay anyways i'm gonna go on to the next bit which is core gameplay so we're gonna talk about it a little bit core gameplay in the game is 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 good it's got a lot of comparisons between warframe obviously i've just shown you it's got a lot of comparisons between destiny outriders and anthem people compare i've been comparing them a lot 
So, you know, if anything, it's more Warframe than Destiny. It's more, war it's more Warframe entirely. There's a couple of features that's in Destiny. Yes, they've talked about looking at Destiny and Warframe. They do have some features that are similar. I would say they looked more into Warframe than they did anything else. But that's just my take on that. Oh, play it. Go. Go. The core gameplay is do missions, collect guns, collect mods, reactors, and external components, whilst also collecting other materials to level up characters, to level up weapons, and anything else that you need to do. Then send them into a research facility, get them all researched into different materials, different different items, to then, to then make your descendant or your character stronger, which is a given. Warframe do exactly the same. I want to talk about the story right now and the story for me was absolute trash the story altogether was like a three out of ten it's one of your generic um he is a bad guy he's after this item you want this item turns out there's three of these items you have to destroy these items because he wants them and obviously it's bad for the place there you go that's all i'm gonna do go into it it's generic it's normal the playing through all the missions throughout the whole game does not in any way help understand the story at all it's just there as a means to show you how the game works and that is most of the free to play titles you will ever come across is exactly the same core gameplay to its full f baseline core gameplay is you will get into the map you will load up your game you will pick locations based on what loot you are trying to find for example this is on normal but if we're going for say a bunny spiral catalyst <clears throat> we will come and run this mission until we get bunny spiral catalyst with more chances of getting the weapons getting some extra mods and getting some reactors you'll also gather x3 from that and you will also get gold and some, maybe some kuiper shards and then you will um come back out level them up go back in do it again if you didn't get it if you got it fine congrats now you can go and research it that is a core gameplay people are saying all these missions are too repetitive i've just come off warframe so i cannot show you how repetitive warframe is yes there is like four types of missions you have a seizure you've got extermination you have hacking which is one of them you also have the duty i'll tell you i'll talk about them ones in a minute you have composite and then you've got one power shutdown let's look at that one in a minute so let's, i'm going on to five here search collection transport disruption or supply did i say supply you've got a few types of missions they're similar in, in some ways you have variety <laughs> they're not all the same collection i just want to say it as well warframe has exactly the same missions style they have a defense mission they have an extermination mission they have a hacking and seek like stealth mission they have exactly the same style of missions rinse repeat in different locations why is everybody complaining about this i don't understand what is it that you're complaining about being repetitive if you've played warframe you know how repetitive that is this is the same i do want to point out people have been getting so obsessed with how repetitive stuff is have literally like been playing gta 5 for the past fucking 10 years they've played every fucking version of skyrim to ever be released these are the people that are complaining about repetitive destiny is repetitive i've played these games i've played over 700 hours on pc on destiny 2 i've played longer than that on console I also played through Destiny 1. It is, it's, it's, that's also repetitive. Most games are. It's just, I, I know this is a shit fucking take probably that a lot of people are going to complain about and say, oh, you're just being skeptical and all this. No, games in, in general are repetitive. They are. Accept that. Move on. The gunplay is good in this game. Everything else is good. You're not giving any good criticism. You're not giving any good recommendations on how to make it better. You're just slapping, oh, it's too repetitive. Can't be arsed. Monetization shit. Can't be bothered with it. Don't like it. No. I just don't listen to those people. I wouldn't. Games in these days are repetitive and they're going to be repetitive. There's not exactly a lot more they can come up with that we haven't had before like you're going to compare it to because just how it is there's that much stuff out there now that you could compare one to another so easily so easily that is it's i'm not going to go any further i'm going to leave it there just just that was just my take on it i'm just sick of see, seeing people saying oh everything's just too repetitive it's boring it's too repetitive but yes it is that's just how it is this is the grind that's what it is it's 
Call of Duty is too repetitive. Warzone, Battle Royales are too repetitive. They're even more repetitive, even more repetitive than this. Hopefully, they add more types of missions. I don't know if they will, or if they do, it's even better. But you've got a variety. You've got like eight different types of missions going through on this. And then you've got, your, obviously, your in infiltrations. And then you've also got your special ops. Then you've then you've got the dun that's you then you've got the dungeons. You have more choice in this than you do in most other games. Let me just put that out there for you. I'm just gonna just gonna say it straight. So to me, the core gameplay of this is actually fine. I'm not getting ridiculously bored like I would in any other ones. So that's my take on it. You can accept that or you, you know complain about it in the comments below. I want to see you complaining about it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go on to end game. Right, so throughout the core, the core campaign that you're playing through, you're going to be learning the missions types, you're going to be learning where things are, and then you're going to be going through end game, which is the same, apart from you press a button and you change it to hard. The only difference is the levels are a little bit harder. They're not that hard, like they're not that much harder at all. All you have to do is, you know, get a good build going and you your sound. And then you'll get different reward, rewards throughout. You'll get n newer means of getting different descendants and you'll get more a little bit higher of a chance of getting stuff to drop that's obviously in the normal missions too so you'll you, you'll go through all these on on hard and you'll collect extra stuff simple plain and easy when you do them and you collect more of your your uh, patterns that you need to dismantle or like searching these you'll come into here and you've got more of a chance of getting your ultimate descendants you've got a little bit more chance of getting some of the items that you could have got earlier if the drops one not shite <laughs> you know what i mean the, the it, it, there is incentives to do it on harder difficulties and also go through the uh, dungeons on these as well so there is incentive to do it you can get more rewards from it and it you know it's Gives you that bit more of a challenge. Hopefully, they do bring the uh, harder levels, and then we'll see how that goes, if they do or not. Hopefully, they do. I've, I've got my hopes down for that. Hopefully, they make it a bit harder for some stuff, and also give us more. Most of these are not going to get used. I've got a few of them. I've got managed to get a few of them, and I've only used a couple. Uh, I have descendants-wise. I have a few descendants. It's, it's not that hard, and people have complaining about it and i don't understand i don't understand where people's complaints are coming from yeah this the game is not that good a lot of the time but you know there's just it's just how people perceive it i don't really know how else to, how else to say that um i gotta help somebody get a sharon like i said i've got my descendants and i've got quite a few of them obviously i'm still working on the levels but i've got i have fun is my favorite obviously you can tell i've reset her three times and if quick look at my build if you want to see my build it's probably the worst build but it, this is what i'm currently running if you're interested in that i don't know if you're interested in builds and stuff because this is my gun i could probably change this up a little bit i've just not touched it all that much to be fair I have one for each electric damage fire and I have the last one for toxic and chill because I'm not buying another slot for 100. No offense. I've done, I've almost done the battle pass. Literally, I was saying that earlier. I've got, I'm on tier 89 and then I'm done. The battle pass is, the items on it is shit. The one thing I would suggest is not put this on the battle pass only because you can get it here and you can't get it uh you can't get it in here at all as you can see i do have the gun but it's not there so there's no way of crafting it just yet oh for the bring that into crafting don't lock the guns onto battle pass i don't think give us a character instead maybe and yeah also take off the uh take off the blue weapon skins we don't need them so you know it's just just how it is you know let me send uh right, anyways so yeah that's my that's my take on the game i think it's all right you know 100 could be better monetization sucks ass campaign's boring loot grinding's good i enjoy the loot grinding just gives me so much to do yes it's as you say it's boring it's repetitive and all that crap yeah it is probably there's not really much said that can be said about it to be fair the only downside is that's cheaper than the fucking warframes i'm not gonna lie that kind of shocked me but yeah there's a uh, obviously stuff i need to change in the stuff that he's doing i would personally give this a uh, game a solid seven and a half out of 10 obviously it's just come out we're in pre-season we'll see how season one launches in end of october end of august i can't wait to see what luna's gonna be like when she drops hopefully she's good but anyways if you enjoyed the video which probably a lot of you won't because you'll think i'm trying to suck up to fucking nexon and trying to suck their d but you know no nah, just enjoying the game that's all i'll be honest if it's shite like i did on the last one serum i'm just not into that so if you were enjoying the content you're in join listening to me ramble <clears throat> sorry i've got so much stuck in my throat
Oh, it's not the D, by the way, but yeah. If you enjoyed this type of video, you know, like, just let me know. Leave a comment. I do appreciate the comments. And leave a like, like I said. Subscribe. And all that good stuff. And if you want to see more from me, hit the notification bell. Let me know what games you want to see. I've got Once Human planned. I did live stream that over on Twitch. I'm just going to try and live stream on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Got to pop over there if you want to see me on there. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Hold up a sec, actually. This video is recommended to you by the YouTube algorithm. It seems to think you'll enjoy it. Go and click on it. Go and watch it. Let me know your thoughts. See you in another one.